Hello students, myself Pushpendra Singh and uh, we have started the new initiative on behalf of the future IAS. So we are going to start with the NCRT, NCRT based classes. So in this classes, uh, we are going to uh, bind up your, NC, your uh, civil services prelims as well as mains examination syllabus. Okay, uh, for the general studies. This would be covering your uh, the preliminary examination as well as your, your uh, mains examination portion. And this would be your introductory session. Okay, so in this session, we will be discussing the importance of NCRT classes. What is the role of NCRT classes play while during the preparation for civil services examinations? And also we'll be looking at the NCRTs we should study while preparation while preparing for civil services examination. All right. And myself, Pushpendra Singh, and I will be taking your NCRT based classes. All right. So this would be your introductory classes. So in that class, we will have the discussion, brief discussion about the importance of NCRT, NCRT books, how to study the NCRT books, as well as we will also discuss the must read books for NCRT, right? For civil services examination, you must read for those books. Okay, uh, if you are preparing for civil services examination, right, all right. So let's begin with the classes. Okay. So why the, the first question coming in your mind is why the NCRT books are so important. Okay. Why we study, why only first we study the NCRT books, right? So the, the most important point to be noted here is that these books, these books are most basic books, most basic books in the sense is the conceptual understanding while studying these books would be very clear. All right. So that books will basically will give you the, the building of your concepts from level zero. So that books will start from level zero and gradually and slowly that will take you to the top of your conceptual building. All right. So these are basically the basic books, the, the early beginner, the early starter can take the help of these books to start its preparation, to start its preparation. And moreover, the second most important point here is these books are written in very simple language. Okay. In very lucid way and very neutral perspective of neutral perspective means they have not leaned to particular ideology. Okay. Say for rightist ideology, leftist ideology or centrist ideology, they have not leaned to anyone. Okay. So they basically, you know, gives you an unbiased opinions or unbiased knowledge. Okay, so that will also guide you to the right path towards making yourself as an enlightened citizen, enlightened citizen of this country. And moreover, the language for or language of these books are also very, very simple. There is no complicacy in the languages and the language which is used in the NCRT is also very simple to the point and easily understandable. All right. Now these NCRTs as base for entire preparation. So these NCRTs basically makes a base for entire preparation. Base means once you begin with the NCRT, you can basically, you know, read some of the higher books. Okay. Which books which are required for you to study while preparing for civil services examination. For example, if we study the NCRT class 11th, okay, say for, uh, regarding introduction okay when you finish your ncrt right after finishing your ncrt you have to study the lakshmi kant book isn't it these lakshmi kant book will be covered only after finishing your ncrt that means the ncrt books will give you a base over that you will build your the structure or your building okay so that conceptual understanding will be built through NCRT books. All right. Then one will get the most of the basic, most of their basics covered for the geography history from these books. So whatever the basics are there, for example, if we study in the geography regarding mountain building, regarding plateaus, regarding rivers, regarding the physical features, physiographic features, they are very simply and very illustratively have been given in your NCRT books. So various conceptual understanding, whether these concepts are related to the geography or history, they have been given 
very well in our NCRT books. All right. Then, when you clear your prelims examination and move to the second stage, that is your mains examination stage. Okay, you should write the answers within the time frame, isn't it? It is expected from you that you should write the answers which is expected you to write in a similar manner which in which the NCRT books have been written, isn't it? So that give you a standard of writing, that give you a standard of the writing. If you ensure that you are writing in such a way that it is almost looking similar to the NCRT, that means you can show that whatever you are writing in the examination, if the content wise is correct, there is no problem with that, isn't it? So they are almost similar in terms of your writing style, in terms of the books which have been written in the standard format. Okay. And uh, this will uh, this would definitely will be helpful for your mains examination also because the content wise also the NCRT books are very much important. Okay. Once you cover thoroughly your NCRT books, you're almost the basic preparation for the examination is got over. Okay. And every year at least 30 to 35 to 40 prelims question are directly asked from the NCRT. Okay. So I would say there is some, there are, there are some elements or some statements that are directly picked from the NCRT books. Okay. These statements are taken from the standard books and standard books in the Indian perspective is NCRT. Okay. So that is why the NCRT books are very important for your conceptual building, not only for your conceptual building, but also for writing, writing the main answer, but also for making the answers correct in the preliminary examinations. So that is why the NCRT books are very much important for you to study while doing a preparation. Now, if you read one book for the prelims, it can also comes handy in the mains. As I told you that the main syllabus is well defined by the UPSC, but prelims syllabus has not been defined, well defined, isn't it? So if you study the books, it will be definitely useful for your mains examination also then it helps in the planned study. Otherwise, you may lost in the vast ocean of data and the coaching material. The point is that there is no shortage of the material in the market, right? Thousands types of the material is available in the market. And the point is that what to study? There is no reference material. What to study? The lot of or plethora of the material from different, different coaching institutes are available. So at least you will have some standard, standard, you know, textbooks to study. You know that if you cover this one, your definitely your basic concept would be clear. So that gives you the NCRT and age, right? Isn't it? So that is why the NCRT will give you a, a scope to study, a plan, scope to study your in a planned way. Okay. If you're planning to choose humanities optional, for example, humanities optional, for example, in history your sociology optional, okay? Then if you are from say non-humanity background, say engineers, isn't it? Now you must understand if you are non-humanity students, you must study the NCRT books because you don't know which subject you are most liking for, okay? So if you are unaware about the optionals, you first start studying your NCRT books and later you, re you, re you realize that your strength lies say in the political science or say sociology or history or whatever it is, isn't it? So in that perspective, it is basically helpful you to choose your optionals also for those beginners, those students who are look, who are viewing this video, they can also use this strategy of choosing their optional by not following blindly, right? Of those of those guidance which have been given by the you know various experts that you choose this optional because this optional is very scoring and this optional will give you that much age every optional is scoring and every optional is tough there is no optional which is easiest every optional is easy every optional is tough it depends on you if you are interested in an optional even engineering optional is also very very easy if you're not good in the engineering, the engineering option would be very difficult. So it depends on you, how you make yourself, right? And how you adjust with the option. The point is that you read those, those books 
and once you familiarize with those books you will get to know your strength and your weakness and based on that you take your decision okay rather than blindly following anyone that you take this optional okay never do that type of things all right then the next is authenticity of the information the ncert books are basically considered as a genuine source of information okay since it is published by the government or government agency so they are basically a genuine source of information no misinformation or misguidance have been given in the ncert so you can say that they are very authentic because they have been written they have been written by the experts right who are specialist in their field right and they are written in a very unbiased manner all right the ncert books are the best source for the civil services examination to develop a strong base in any subject okay if you want to develop a strong base say in the history or say in the polity or say in the governance or maybe in the environment they are the most essential books to start with they are the most essential books to start with okay you can build your base on the preparation of your ncert books all right as the old ncerts are suggested okay you might have heard about that you should study the old ncert books okay now you must understand those old ncert books has some data okay the data is old because these are old ncerts now you should update those data with the current data okay that is what is only required for you to do so you must update the data otherwise for conceptual understanding for other information the old ncerts are best all right then these books are meticulously designed by the experts and the government officials after thorough research all right so it is not something they have been you know uh, very quickly made or something something you know very you know uh, these books are designed by the experts have been discussed research enough then only the data have been kept in the book so they are very authentic and you can use this this these books basically to build your uh, understanding in a particular subject okay next is building the basic concept with the ncert so you can build your basic concept with the help of ncert so you can say that these ncert books are considered the basic reading books to build the base for the civil services examination so that is why i am saying that for civil services examination these books are utmost important because these books are considered as a basic study material or basic reading material without which your your preparation would be would be basically will not be completed all right it covers all the topics which are important and gives us a crystal clear conceptual clarity okay so most of the topics if you see uh, in your mains or if you see in the prelims examination syllabus the syllabus have been or the topics have been have been covered okay and more more important it will give you a crystal clear conceptual clarity regarding any particular topic that means they have been written exhaustively okay with thorough research the ncert books additionally serve as a measure of performance evaluation and improvement okay so based on based on your learning based on your aptitude right you can also assess yourself your performance okay so that is why the ncert books also serve as a measure of your performance evaluation and improvement all right how much you know okay and how much you need to know so based on that you can basically start studying your ncert books now what to read from the ncert this is the second thing is coming in your mind the first thing is that why you should study ncert okay so that thing is clear now the second most important point is what to read from the ncert what to read okay the point is that whether you are studying for the prelims or you are studying for the mains okay now you must understand these books will be will give you a basic minimum you know uh, uh, knowledge which is required for you to understand any subject okay now for you understand for you understand if you take the an example for example history books okay you must study these books from both perspective for the prelims as well as for the mains perspective but the point is that if you study these books holistically right 
these books will give you an overall a good guidance regarding preparation regarding preparation for civil services examination for example if you study history that that books will give you a timeline to study okay okay all right then in the geography ncrt right you must understand geography if you cover the 6th to 12th ncrt your complete syllabus almost all syllabus of your geography right whether it is a prelims or mains almost all syllabus of your NC, of your geography will be covered through ncrt only okay you need very small extra material to study so you must understand you should treat them as a bible for the geography section for prelims as well as for the mains examination and you should also try you know drawing those figures diagrams illustrations from ncrt books say for example for maps rivers mountain ranges passes through the ncrt you should try and you should try to give you should try to attempt the answers also from various test series or from various you know the previous years uh, you know question paper which is asked by the upsc itself for art and culture ncrt of 11th standard is very very important which is basically thoroughly followed and you must study that 11th standard ncrt books this books will be useful for your prelims as well as for the mains examination and moreover you must understand this uh, art and culture is also covered in the gs first paper so the, you have the four gs papers in your mains examination in the four gs papers the first paper okay is also thoroughly covered by sorry the first paper also consists of the sub part which is basically your art and culture and this book will be useful for your paper one also all right for polity ncrt you must understand you must read that book right india's political development now if you once read that book that book will give you the basic minimum knowledge regarding the political system as well as the polity now above all you can start studying lakshmikant book say right there are many other books also but the basic books you can refer is lakshmikant book once you start once you finish your ncrt book all right then what how to read okay the third question is how to read the ncrt first question is why we should study ncrt the second question is what to read from the ncrt and the third question is how to read the ncrt okay how to read the point is that once you finish your ncrt books will it be suffice will it be suffice forever no it will not be suffice forever okay i'll tell you for completing your all ncrt say there are 40 books or 44 books of ncrts 6 to 12 for covering those books also you require the months together to study isn't it let's assume that you have covered your all ncrts in the first reading all right you have covered you have completed your first ncrts in the first reading now how much it will be retained in your mind that is the first question it will not be retained too much and moreover you have not made notes also because you are reading just first time and you should also not try or never try to make the notes while studying the the book or any book first time because you need to understand that uh, concept rather than making the notes in the first time itself okay the point is that the first reading is to understand a particular concept from the book okay so you first study the book first time okay second time is that once you cover your ncrts go to the second reading of the book okay for the second reading you must read and optimize the underlined stuff so for example if you read any book you would ob obviously underline the some of the important points or important you know sentences in the book now those important sentences which you underlined or highlighted once you go through in the second time you would optimize on them or you would emphasize on them or you would learn more and go deeply inside the concept but still but still you must understand once you going through these second second reading now you must understand you should also make a notes or small notes or the short notes of the ncrt this make this you know stage of making notes can be of second time or maybe third time i would say when you go to the ncrt third time third time 
you make the nodes okay so that means you require at least three times your uh, you know the reading of your ncrt books at least three times so third time you go to the ncrt make a crisp crisp notes or the small notes okay now from now onwards you don't have to refer your ncrt books anymore that means once you make your own notes or the short notes you don't have to refer any ncrt books from now onwards these these notes will be useful for your examination forever for your examination forever okay whenever you want you can revise these complete notes just in 4 to 5 hours you are getting my point so it will take only 4 to 5 hours to study 6 to 12 all ncrt books you can imagine 40 44 books from 6 to 12th class it will be covered just in 4 hours or 5 hours together but for that you need to work upon you need to first read them read second and the third time you make a crisp notes for that and thereafter you don't have to refer any any ncrt books because you have your crisp notes or the short notes that will be useful forever in your preparation phase all right so that is how you basically study your ncrt books now the fifth point is now you must understand always you should remember that it is not about reading and finishing the books but it is about building the concepts so you should always focus on how much you learn how much you learn from the ncrt rather than finishing the books in the bulk okay so learning phase should be there and you should devote enough time to learn the concepts rather than finishing the books very fastly okay all right and you should always you know look into the papers preliminary examination paper mains examination paper whether it is useful how much it is useful whether are you able to retrieve the information are you able to understand that information are you able to you know reproduce that information how much you understand how much it is require you to understand everything you have to look into you have to look into so for that perspective you need to revise and re revise them again and again so point is that that is how you can read your ncrt books and these are very very simple you have to go through at least three times once you go through the three times make the notes revise it again and again and you can basically easily revise all the ncrt notes in just 4 hours right completely 44 books or 45 books you can easily revise it out okay now now let's look at those ncrts books which you must refer while you while your preparation phase so first i'm i'm going to uh, tell you about history books so six standard history books that is our past section 1 or part 1 you should read that book then seventh class our past part 2 that you should read then eighth class our past part 3 okay that you should read so that is part 1 to 3 all these parts you should read then ninth standard india and contemporary world okay in that portion also the historical underpinning you must read okay 10th standard indian contemporary world you must study you must study then 12th standard there is a themes of world history focus on industrial revolution you must focus on the industrial revolution perspective okay then 12th class book that is again themes of indian history part 1 you should focus here right uh the uh, say in part 1 part 2 and part 3 all the three books all right so these are those ncrt books you must refer while preparing your civil services examination right for the history let's look at the geography geography again you must go through from 6 to 12 ncrt books okay 6 7 8 these are very small small books you can easily cover it out in say in few hours only so six standard ncrt books that is the earth our habitat you must study that book seventh standard our environment you must study that book eighth standard book resource and development you must study that book ninth standard contemporary india part 1 you must study that book tenth standard contemporary india first you must study that book or second part okay 11th standard book that is fundamentals of the physical geography that is very much essential okay don't start reading go chang leong or gc leong book before reading this book okay it is highly recommended to first you go through this fundamentals of the physical geography then you can refer any book including gc leong okay 
then 11th standard india physical environment you must go through that book 12th standard fundamentals of human geography and 12th standard india the people and economy these are the books once you cover you must understand that these books should be considered as a bible for geography so once you cover these books you don't have to refer any other books these are these books are self suffice read gc uh, leong or bunnett right geography through diagrams these books would be helpful for your mains also okay let's understand economics so economics ninth standard economics 10th standard understanding economic development this is very very important book you must take that book okay and 11th standard indian economic development you must read that book 12th standard introduction introductory introductory micro economics okay 12th standard again introductory macro economics okay and there are other supplementary reading materials in the economics introductory to macro economics also you should refer this is also for class 12 class 12 many people will say that no need to read this micro economics and macro economics but these books are very very small if you read those these books it will be easy for you to understand the newspapers isn't it so because in the economics section the newspaper say the hindu it will be very difficult for the people to understand the newspaper so you read that book introduction to introductory macro economic economics and introductory micro economics and thereafter understanding the newspaper would be bit easier okay or you can easily understand the economics concept for culture and fine arts you must study an introduction to indian art okay this is the only book which will be helpful which will be helpful for your fine arts and the culture apart from that okay there are many other books also read book and uh, i will guide you what to read after ncert but first you read that this book and you can build your other concept on this book itself read the science in this science we will be covering say physics okay then we will be covering chemistry then we will be covering your biology okay then we will be covering your science and technology science and technology basically covers physics chemistry and biology completely then we will also be covering in the science portion the environment and ecology environment and ecology all right so you must understand these syllabus or these books should be there or you should read these books before starting the new books okay so for example in the 6th standard you must read the chapter 9 that is the living organism and their surroundings that will be useful for your biological concept 7th standard book chapter 7 weather climate adaptation of animals again it will be useful for you to understand environment for you to understand your environment right then chapter 9 it is related to soil right it is again useful for your environment and ecological concept isn't it then eighth standard book that is read the chapter 1 that will be useful for your crop production and management again useful for environment and ecological concepts okay chapter 5 again in the in the 11th standard book 11th standard ncert you read the coal petroleum again it is related to science tech chapter 7 conservation of plants and animals this is again useful for your environment and ecology then chapter 12 right this is related to friction again relate concepts which is related to physics then chapter 8 that is pollution of air and water again it is related to some sort of environment and ecology okay chapter 9 or oh, sorry or 9th standard book which is chapter 14 you read natural resources again this would be useful for your understanding of you know natural resources in respect to environment and ecology then 10th standard book chapter 14 source of energy okay source of energy all right
Right. So you see here, I'm trying to uh, make it full size, but it is not happening. Let's see. All right. So you must understand that these books, these books you must study here. All right. So these books are very essential for you to understand the basic concepts here. The basic concepts here. All right. Next, you see here. All right. So you see here, next we shall move to uh, the 12th standard biology. This 12th standard biology will have the 10th unit. will have the 10th unit that is ecology. Ecology and also chapter 13. Chapter 13, which is related to organism. All right. And which is related to uh, the population. Chapter 14, which is related to ecosystem. All right. And uh, chapter 15, which is related to biodiversity and conservation. Chapter 15, which is related to, uh, or chapter 16, which is related to environmental issues. So these issues you must study thoroughly, all right, before you should move to any other book or any other standard books, all right, fine. Let's look at the Indian society, all right. The Indian society, the books, which is basically re related to the Indian society and social issues. Now you must study the 11th standard NCRT books. This 11th standard NCRT books, which is uh, named as sociology, the understanding society. All right. So these books, these books will be handy for you to, uh, to build your concepts for you to build your concepts. All right. Next chapter 12, basically your Indian society, this book will be helpful for your understanding the different social issues in our Indian society. All right. All right. Now let's look at the slip. Let's look at the syllabus, which is, you know, uh, uh, with respect to your prelims as well as with respect to your mains examination. So let's look at the syllabus, how the syllabus would be useful or would be useful for your understanding the, the, the different, different subjects which are there in your NCRT. Okay. So first you understand the NCRT will have the different set of books or NCRT books will have different set of subjects. Okay. For example, you have basically, uh, say, geography, then you have quality, then you have environment, then ecology, then you have biology, isn't it? You have science and technology also, isn't it? So these are basically some of those subjects which, which are covered in your syllabus for civil services examination. All right. So these are very much essential for you to cover your civil services syllabus comprehensively, com comprehensively, isn't it? So you see here. First of all, the first point, the current events of national and international importance. All right, this, this point, the current, current event of national, import, national importance, this is basically, you know, uh, will be covered your, through your current affairs, you know, uh, uh, the portion. You, for that, you need to study your, uh, the newspaper. Now, I would say very straightly, I would say very straightly that few of those subjects, for example, if you want to study the ecology and the environment, okay, apart from the static portion, you must also refer your newspapers also, okay, because the newspapers will give you the, the current happenings regarding the subject. The NCRT will give you the static knowledge, okay, the static knowledge, which means, which is there in the books, okay. The current happenings or the current events which really gives through or will be coming to you through the newspapers on the magazine. So you have to rely on the newspapers as well as on the magazines for you to understand these, uh, you know, these, uh, uh, you know, the current happenings. Next, history of India, Indian national movement. These, these uh, topics we will be covering in, in our history books. For example, you have 
ancient India, you have medieval India, and you have modern India. So we'll be covering the ancient, medieval, and the modern from NCRT books completely in your class. In your class, and also we'll be studying the Indian National Movement also. The Indian National Movement also. All right. Then, then the India and the world geography. So India and the world geography also. I would say. we will be covering the physical geography we will be covering the social geography we will be covering the economic geography of india we will be covering the world geography also isn't it we will be also covering the indian polity and governance also okay so as i have discussed about the ncert book so we will going through or we will be going through all those ncert books one by one in our class okay so one by one we will be going through those ncrts and we will be covering very comprehensively in our class of those books different different books and in the polity and the governance also we'll try to cover all the key concepts in your class itself right regarding ye police screen kyon nahi ho raha yaar ye dekhna yaar kya ho gaya isme नीचे से कैसे उठाई पुलिस ने कैसे नीचे से तो नहीं हो रहा ऊपर से कैसे उठा कहां से कर हां से यहां से उठा था पहले हां ये से ठीक है अब नहीं ना इसको बैक करके पीछे करना नहीं बैक करके नहीं होगा सब कर दो दबी नहीं है कुछ चीज माउस का ही काम कर रहा है पीछे से दब दब गया है ऐसा तो नहीं है देखो इससे भी तो नहीं कर रहा है भी तो काम हो जाता है रिफ्रेश फिर से ऑफ फिर ऑन करो ना तो लेक्चर हट जाएगा ये सेव्ड है अच्छा लेक्चर हट जाएगा ये काम कर रहा है बस कंप्लीट ये कीपैड कनेक्ट करो इसको कीपैड ये जरा ये टच कर देते तो कनेक्ट होते कनेक्ट ही है ये तो ऑलरेडी कनेक्ट रहता है देखो जरा पर इसको क्या दबाऊं इसको कोई दबे भी नहीं ये तो कीपैड है फुल स्क्रीन कैसे होता है क्या रुको अरे रुको यार रुको ना हो गया हो गया कैंसिल क्या दबा दिया आप हो गया हो गया हो गया थैंक गॉड चालू कर रहा हूं ऑल राइट ऑल राइट सो वी शैल स्टार्ट ओके सो एज आई कवर्ड यू एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट फ्यू ऑफ दोस टॉपिक्स विल बी कवर्ड इन द स्टैटिक पोर्शन इन द एनसीईआरटीस एंड फ्यू ऑफ दोस पोर्शंस यू हैव टू कवर थ्रू द करंट अफेयर्स यू हैव टू कवर थ्रू द करंट अफेयर्स ऑल राइट सो few of those portions say polity and the governance constitution political system panchayati raj public policy and the issues these concepts basically uh, will be covered in the book apart from that there will be some current happenings also for example if any law have been made by the government of india have been passed by the lok sabha for example citizenship amendment act that you have to go through through current affairs classes okay that we have also started then economic and the social development right in that we will be studying the sustainable development poverty inclusion demography social sector initiatives etc all right so these economics related concept will be covering basically in your economics ncert in your economics ncert okay then you will have the general issues on the environment and ecology these general issues on the environment and ecology also will be also we have covered or we would have covered through ncerts right these concepts will be useful for your preliminary examination so we'll be covering the ecology biodiversity climate change okay from ncert books from the ncert books let me very clear that we will be trying to we will try our best to also to include few current events also from current events also or from current happenings also but for uh, the core current happening that you have to rely on the current affairs class that we have already started okay you can also subscribe then general science just now we have covered our general science portion also we have seen that this is our this is our basically the science portion where you will be covering where you will be covering basically you will be covering say the physics chemistry biology science tax environment and ecology will be covering very exhaustively from your 6th 7th 8th 9th right 12th class standard ncert books and we'll try to cover up your basics of your syllabus okay now let's look at the upsc main syllabus also what is the significance of upsc main syllabus and how this upsc main syllabus right also you know covered your ncert books or how these ncert books will be useful 
in your UPSC mains also. So first of all, you must understand the UPSC mains syllabus does not have any prescribed syllabus for essay paper. Now you have to read, you have to write, write two essays each with one one twenty five marks each, isn't it? So there will be an essay paper in your mains examination. There will be two sections: section A, section B. Each section you will have four options, and among the four options you have to write only one. So ultimately you have to write only two essays from each from one section. These essays also require you to have some of the static knowledge, okay, or some of the basic knowledge of the subject. For example, if essay comes from economy, or essay comes from polity or political development, or say sports. you need to have some of the basic knowledge because you cannot rely directly on the current affairs so without basic knowledge you cannot write a good essay so for you to write a good essay you need to have the good understanding of your ncert books not only for the essay but also the ncert books will be useful for your mains as well as for your interview preparation also so don't forget to uh, cover your ncert books first okay then general studies paper 1 you see in the general studies paper 1 broadly covers four topics or broadly cover four subjects these four subjects are art and culture that i have told you 11th standard fine arts book that you have to study this book would also cover the gs paper 1 section which is art and culture right second is history this history basically is related to india's freedom struggle that is modern india okay we will be trying to cover this modern india book through ncert books and once you cover this ncert books your gs paper 1 part also will be covered in your mains examination all right then indian society that we have discussed that 11th and 12th standard ncert books okay just we have discussed once you cover those indian uh, uh, indian society or sociology books your indian society portion will be covered conceptually okay regarding other current affairs related materials you have to rely on the basically your uh, your current current happenings that is that may be that may be your magazine or monthly magazine or right or that may be your daily news compilation or like or there may be some sort of a weekly compilation right as well as your newspapers newspapers isn't it that newspapers will be your the hindu indian express anyone you can refer the hindu or indian express whichever suits you the best whichever suits you the best so these are some of those sources through which you must cover your uh, basically current affairs portion i will be covering your ncert books in this uh, classes okay let's look at gs paper 2 gs paper 2 broadly also uh, covers four subjects four subjects the polity and the constitution as i told you 11th standard book polity you must study right after covering that book you have to study the lakshmikant book these two books are more than suffice there is one more book that is dd basu but don't go through first on dd basu first read lakshmikant book first read ncert second go to lakshmikant book these two books will be suffice above and over and above you must refer current affairs material that's all is enough for your prelims as well as for your mains examination for your governance portion right you need to read again lakshmikant book there is a one more book called governance that is also same authored Uh, M Lakshmikant. Apart from that, you must refer your basically your current affairs portion from these sources, either from monthly magazines, daily newspaper analysis, or maybe some of the newspapers. Okay, so you must read those sources also. Then social justice. This is very important because in our society there is a you know uh, too much discrimination. There is a inequality in our society. So social justice is very much important, and it is it is. something which is very much dynamic in the nature so you need to read the current affairs portion to uh, to answer those topics right so you need to revise you need to write down from the newspapers from the magazines and you need to make the notes then only it will be useful for your 
uh, for your mains also definitely we will be covering in the class from conceptual point of view international relations this is entirely current affairs based this is entirely current affairs based this this you must uh, uh, completely rely on the current affairs right you must rely completely on the current affairs now once you rely on the current affairs portion your international relations part will be over your international part will be over but definitely we will be trying to cover the basics in the classes for example bilateral relationship between india and pakistan india and china india and us the basic basic uh, you know understanding will be covered in the class but the current events or current happening regarding those uh, relationships either it is bilateral trilateral multilateral or international that you have to cover through newspapers and current affairs magazine you have heard about there is one separate page in the dainlu newspaper that is international page that page will cons consist of this international relations you can read that page also let's look at the general studies paper 3 okay this general studies paper 3 consist of again you can see here seven topics or seven subjects okay first is indian economy okay whatever we are studying in our class or through ncert books definitely this portion will be covered but again i would say this indian economy will have significant current affairs okay these current affairs you must study from the newspaper so you have to rely on ncert plus your current affairs to answer these type of questions right then agriculture all right in the agriculture also the basic conceptual understanding i will be covering in the class apart from that any sort of a current related happening or current related issues you have to you have to cover through your current events or current affairs industry and infrastructure in that it will be there say ports roads harbors air force isn't it energy right different type of industries manufacturing industries right different type of other industries you will be covering through the ncert also apart from that you have to rely on the current affairs also so mainly these portions or paper 3 is basically current affairs based totally so you have to you cannot rely on the static portion you have to uh, rely on the current affairs to answer the paper 3 of the general studies portion then science and technology this is entirely current affairs based entirely current affairs based they will not asking you the basic questions here but rather they will be asking you or they would be expecting you to answer some of the current happenings in our society so the science and technology will be totally on current affairs based environment and ecology may be some static sub portion will be there or there may be some two or three parts in the question but again this environment and ecology also current affairs based so this paper 3 is entirely on the current affairs based so you need to rely on the current affairs right in order to answer this paper 3 port, paper 3 part of your uh, mains then internal security this internal security say manmohan singh also says that the internal security is one of the biggest threat that india is facing currently now internal security uh, apart from your external front or external security the internal security is one of the greatest threat from say naxalism the naxalites are there the milit the militarism are there in the northeastern states for example in the northeastern states or the eight sister states also also have some of the basic problems like uh, uh, secessionistic tendencies the people have taken the arms in their hand so these causes you know so much uh, you know internal security issues and there are other issues like these uh, state actors and non state actor non state actors are those actors which do not belongs to the state and state actors are those state actors which belongs to the state now point is that there is a nexus between these non state actors and the state actors in order to complicate the situation now there is a linkage between this this actors with the external actors now these close linkages has blurred uh, uh, you know this whole concept because without external you know uh, help these internal uh, you know actors cannot do anything so the point is that there is a close nexus between the two and that is basically you know sustaining their relationship in terms of making the situation more worse day by day so the point is that 
you need to understand this issue as a whole sum or as a complete picture next disaster management in this disaster management we will be covering say different type of uh, uh, disasters and uh, 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 say uh, different type of you know threats that we are facing for example uh, we have cyclones we have tsunami we have earthquakes we have volcanoes eruptions right we have landslides we have mass we have mass slides right uh, we have different type of disaster in our country so uh, we have also say forest fires isn't it so these type of disasters may be man made disasters natural disasters quasi uh, uh, quasi human disasters so different type of disaster we will be studying in our uh, uh, classes and uh, these disasters uh, are covered in your ncert books now you must understand these two topics say internal security and the disaster management again these two topics are current affairs based upsc will not ask you simple question what is cyclone rather they will ask you uh, regarding some cyclone which have impacted say eastern coast of india so they will ask you regarding some cyclones which have caused tremendous damage to the eastern coast or if there is any earthquake they would ask you the question indirectly from or Uh, from referring to that particular incident which caused the disaster or if there is a uh, you know uh, say landslide or there is a you know some sort of a cloud burst so they may ask you questions regarding that so be prepared to answer those questions but definitely that will have the uh, the closer linkages with uh, the current happening which is happening in our society the point is that read the ncert apart from that read your uh, the current affairs uh, you know uh, the portion from newspapers and the magazines then only you will be able to answer this paper 3 of your general studies portion in the mains otherwise it will be very difficult to you for you to answer this portion right all right so uh, we have covered significantly in our session so what we have covered is we have seen uh, the importance of ncert why we should study ncert and why should we start ncert only how to uh, study ncert what to study in the ncert and what are the different basic books which are there in our ncert and we have also covered we have also covered uh, the syllabus for uh, the civil services prelims examination right uh, and we have also covered the the syllabus for civil services mains examination and we have also seen we have also seen that uh, the different different books which are there in the ncert say geography history polity economics how they are useful uh, in terms of answering those questions which are there in the prelims as well as in the mains examination all right so tomorrow we'll start with six standard ncert history book so uh, that will be initially first two chapters will be starting so we'll be starting with the history books and uh, uh, from tomorrow we will we'll be having the close discussions based on the ncert so this would be your this was basically your introductory session uh, meant you to understand the the different different books which are there in your ncert which will be covered in our classes all right so thank you very much for attending this session we'll meet tomorrow thank you very much